all right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. You know, in the last vlog, I asked for maybe some advice, maybe a little bit of feedback regarding setting up mesh strips inside of RDAs. I felt like I was doing something wrong. I've never really had like that really good mesh RDA experience, which a lot of people keep, uh, you know, kind of raving about. And, and I feel left out. I, I want that experience. So I'm ready to give mesh a chance again. I got some of the off next mesh strips. I got my profile RDA. What we're gonna do is jump down to Uppy Closey and, and we're gonna install some mesh again using some of the advice that I got in the comments of that vlog. Go now. All right, so I got my profile mesh RDA here ready to use. I'm ready to give mesh another chance. So the first thing I did is I took all of the springs from inside the profile mesh packaging. It comes with three springs and they're all the same spring. I was under the impression that some of them were stiffer than others. It's three of the exact same spring. So what I did is I kind of sandwiched all the springs together and put them underneath this ceramic pedestal right here because I just want some more resistance on here. The only way that you can prevent hot spots in mesh is to A, not have any creases in your mesh and B, have moisture cotton pressed against the mesh continuously. So I'm hoping that those springs in there will help me out a little bit. I also went ahead and pulled out the squonk pin and just put in the regular 510 because I do not want to be squonking with this. I want to be dripping with this. I don't love the idea of the juice, you know, the squonk, the juice comes right out of the middle here if my camera would focus and it sucks a lot of the moisture out of the cotton. This is something I ranted about in a vlog, so I'm not really gonna cover it here, but I don't love squonking with a mesh RDA. So I got my off next mesh mesh in here, and this mesh is a very, very, very fine mesh. Our house in the middle of the street. So these are the off next mesh strips. You can kind of see how tightly packed this mess mesh is. It's a real fine mesh, and it's got those sort of like big strips on the end to kind of go down into those clamps. So here's the thing, luckily I did find my Watofo tool, so that's what I'm gonna be using to bend this mesh. Yeah, you know, kind of just something just like that. And look, if you have the Profile RDA and you don't have this Watofo, you know, uh, bend your mesh tool, it's gonna be kind of a bummer. The profile has a very specific, you know, distance between the clamps and you need to bend your mesh to be able to fit the distance between those clamps. So I'm gonna set this mesh in here. This is kind of where you can fuck things up pretty easily. Like you don't want the mesh leaning back in it or forward in any direction. Like you certainly don't want your mesh leaning that way, leaning that way. You need to install this pretty precisely. Oh, good God, is that straight? It almost looks like it's leaning a little bit to one side. I want this to be as precise as possible. Honestly, looking pretty good. That's a pretty good rounded, rounded arch in there. There's no like hard seams through it. Those hard creases and seams always lead to hot spots. All right, I'm just gonna hold this here and hopefully this is straight. I'm just gonna install this the best way I can. Uh, yeah. That actually looks pretty good to me. I'm just, I'm just really, really hoping that the extra springs I put in here are gonna help hold that cotton up against the mesh harder. I'm actually gonna be using this uh, swag cotton today. I'm not gonna be using the Watofo cotton and I'm not gonna be using cotton bacon prime because this cotton kind of comes off in a bit of a rope right? It's a very ropey cotton, but I feel like the diameter of this rope of cotton from Swag might fit in there just perfectly. Oh god, that's pretty good. That cotton fits in there pretty good. And it's still just so much cotton. Besides a distinct lack of flavor from a single strip of mesh, the amount of cotton that you have to use in a mesh RDA is one of the things that really sticks in my craw. It's just... Good God, it's just so much cotton. Yeah, and I know that Watofo says to kind of like cut this at an angle, so all right, all right. Maybe something a little bit like that. 
I don't know, maybe a little bit something like that. I'm gonna start putting some juice on here and I'm gonna try to tame down these big puffs of cotton on the end. I mean, this looks sufficiently moistened to me. If I press this button right here, yeah, we're gonna see some vapors happening. These next mesh strips are 0.13. This one came out to exactly 0.13 and I've only got this mod right now set to 35 watts. One of the things that people were telling me repeatedly, repeatedly is, up your wattage, up your wattage, and you're gonna get much better flavor. All right, well, even at 35 watts, it, it seems to be doing pretty good. It doesn't seem to be any hot spots or any creases or anything like that. It seems to be doing pretty damn good. So uh, I'm gonna put this back together. I wanna vape this thing, and what I'm gonna do is, when we get back out to normal view, we're gonna be adjusting the wattage. I run this at a pretty low wattage because I'm a little bit terrified of hot spots in mesh happening because they they happen so, so quickly. All right, well, we got our next mesh strips installed in our profile RDA. We're gonna fiddle around with the wattage. We're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this thing. But yeah, I feel real confident with the way that I installed this mesh. You guys watch me do it. I feel like it was nicely, nicely rounded. I put those extra springs underneath the ceramic so that it'll hold the cotton up there a little bit tighter. And one of the other things that a lot of people were commenting on that video was wattage, wattage, turn your wattage up turn your wattage up and you'll get a better vape and a more flavorful vape as well. And I have personally always been a little bit timid with my wattage in regards to mesh strips. I would rather have like a hot spot happen or a dry hit happen while it's at 40 watts rather than if it's at 70 watts. It would be obviously a much more horrible experience at 70 watts, 70 watts, 70 watts lots to get a dry hit. And, and I just wanna make sure that it's it's very clear that this has nothing to do with the Profile RDA. I love the Profile RDA. I love the Profile RDA much more with a single like M-Turk Alien in there on a squonker than I do with a single strip of mesh in there. And that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of today is actually using it with mesh instead of a single coil. You know what, at the end of the day, mesh just might not be for me. And that's shit, man. That's fine. Like I said, I'm pretty confident with the mesh that I put in here. I feel like it's real even, real rounded. Uh, I did put those springs in, so I'm hoping that that holds the cotton up against the mesh a little bit better. And I have actually turned my wattage up. Not, I'm not going crazy with it. I'm still being a little bit timid. We're going up in small increments, but I've got it set to 60 watts right now. This is a 0.14 next mesh, single strip of mesh, cotton, at 60 watts on the profile RDA. It is loaded up with the juice that I had in the vlog, that Psycho Kitty from Puff Labs. Let's give this a try. It's, 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 not, it's not bad at all. I'm actually tasting a little bit of like, uh, like black licorice or like star anise out of this Psycho Kitty that I wasn't getting before. Maybe that's the, the mesh, I don't know, shit. So it's not like, it's not like vaping wire. It's not like vaping Clapton's or Aliens or even round wire. It's, it, it feels much different. The one thing that I can never get from mesh that I can get from like Aliens or round wire is a hot vape. I like, I like warm vapes. I like warm borderline hot vapes. And this right now, 0.14 at 60 watts, it's pretty flavorful. Like, it's a surprisingly flavorful vape. Turning up the wattage on mesh definitely, definitely helps in the flavor department. I don't know, 60 watts is working pretty good. Let's try 65 watts. We're doing baby steps, right? Baby steps. Let's try 65 watts and see how this vape is. I think we're getting somewhere here. That wasn't bad. That was not bad at all. And I find myself still, even with my drag, being a little bit apprehensive. I tend to take like shorter drags with mesh because honestly, I'm really just scared of those hot spots, man. I've seen them happen. I've seen it happen with like 
fully saturated, fully built mesh and cotton in there. I've seen those hot spots happen. I'll show you a little video now, but this was a prior build that I had in here that I thought was going really, really well. I turned the wattage up to about where I have it now, right at about 65 watts, hot spots. Hot spots, hot spots, hot spots. All right, so we can't run too many more tests here with the wattage because I don't want this to be a 19 minute long video, but here's where we're gonna leave it. 70 watts, we went from 50 to 60 to 65, and now we're up at 70. And 70 watts is kind of close to where I would be running a 0.14 if this were a wire-based build. Honestly, I mean, if this were a wire-based build, I would probably be rocking it a, a lot higher. A 0.14 would probably go up into like the 90, 95 watt range, even with a single coil. But let's give it a shot, 70 watts. All right, I still, I still feel like I'm taking some pretty short drags. I am a person that likes to take long drags. It's just, there's something very, very satisfying to me about just like just taking in a huge drag, just a huge drag and then just exhaling like Hurricane Irma. I find that, I find that very satisfying. For some reason with this mesh, I have it in the back of my head that that ramp up time is still there and I'm not gonna be able to take a really long drag without it going dry. And when mesh goes dry, it instantly, it instantly turns red. Okay, that was really good. All right. Well, shit, all right. It just takes a little bit of like, you know, fiddlingness. It takes a little bit of skill and precision when you're setting your mesh up just to get it even and not cockeyed and no, you know, ridges or streams or imperfections in your streams. I meant to say creases streams came out. But set it up, set it up precisely. I would suggest throwing a couple more springs under that little ceramic pedestal if you have a profile RDA. That way you can kind of use a little bit less cotton and it's not like such like a big just cotton ball in there and when the, and when you get that big cotton in there I just feel like it's wasting juice that's the whole reason why I wanted to use less cotton was so it felt like I wasn't wasting so much juice this is pretty damn good I mean I, I'm gonna admit it I'm not a huge fan of single strips of mesh in RDAs but this little setup that I put together right here dripping on mesh that's the first step dripping is for me a must on mesh I don't want to squonk on mesh at least I don't want to squonk on mesh if the squonk you know if the liquids coming from underneath into the cotton this is shit this is a good vape I mean, I, I get it. I, I see the appeal now of mesh. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. I'm glad that I gave mesh a second try. I had kind of written off mesh RDAs as like, that, that's, that's fine for some people, but I'm never gonna enjoy that. I'm just never gonna enjoy that and I don't wanna bother type of thing. But I'm really glad that I gave it another shot. These off next mesh strips seem to hold up real well. They've got a nice, nice little flavor to them. The flavor isn't, look, the flavor isn't spectacular. I do notice that there is a little bit drop in flavor when you're using a single strip of mesh. That doesn't mean you won't be able to taste your juice. Just means it's going to be a little bit, just a just a little, like a notch down, like a notch down. But thank you to everybody that commented on that vlog and gave me some feedback and a little tips. There's still a few things that I kind of want to try out, but for the most part, I feel like I, uh, I feel like I've successfully and satisfactorily vaped mesh. And look, at the end of the day, we all vape different ways. If we all vaped the exact same thing and enjoyed the exact same thing, the world would be a real boring place. So I know that there's always going to be people that are going to swear by mesh and love mesh and then just love mesh and then that's what they love. And that's awesome. And then there's going to be people like myself that are going to love aliens and and that's what i love and that's how i vape and i prefer aliens to mesh and neither of us are wrong it's just different ways to vape at the end of the day look vape whatever you want to vape it's just different ways to vape and don't let anybody don't let anybody give you any shit or give you a hard time for the way that you like to vape all right wow i didn't know i was gonna get so soapboxy there at the end i apologize but anyway 
off neck mesh strips inside the profile, dripping on it, 70 watts, pleasantly, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. And that's what I got for today, everybody. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, again, no matter what you vape, let's just keep on vaping.